Lucy Ames workshop. I'm back. I have a, a couple more days of vacation um, that uh, because I'm in nursing school, if you don't know. <clears throat> and so I have in between semesters, we have zero homework. So I wanted to make a video and I'm so excited that I can actually do crafts. You guys just don't even know how excited it is, how exciting it is for me to be able to do something other than schoolwork. And saying that, I do have an update video that you guys can check out on my other channel, My Journey Tidbits. Check that out. I've got a new video talking about all, what's happened in nursing school and if I'm going to uh, move on. Uh, did I pass all my examinations and all that sort of thing? If you're interested, go check that channel out because it is up and you can see what's going on with me but right now what i have missed so much in the crafting area of my life is making junk journals so i know you all are probably so sick of seeing junk journals but this is what i want to do so hopefully i'll be able to have time to make one more video um and it'll be something totally different from junk journals but i have missed making junk journals so we're going to do that and i'm going to make a tiny junk journal so I'm just using a jello box. I actually have other boxes that I could use and I may make two. It depends on how quickly I can get this done. So here's just a scotch transparent box, jello box. Uh, here's one on band-aids. So, you know, get creative. It doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be anything special. And so, let's just get started. I may just go ahead and do a real uh fast fast forward thing so you guys don't have to listen to me jabber and uh, and then you can see the finished product at the end so let's get started
This is the finished project, at least for right now. I couldn't finish the inside, but this is what... I did some of the inside, but this is what the outside looks like. So we've got a little butterfly there. And that says, Happiness is like a butterfly which, when pursued, is always beyond our grasp, but which, if you will sit down quietly, may light upon you. And that is Nathaniel Hawthorne who wrote that. Um, I made that with a um, tissue paper stamp that I got from a swap that I did um, from another person. So I just love that and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go with it. And so we've got the um, fabric flowers, little roses. That there is a sticker I got from Hobby Lobby. There was, as you, I think you could see in the video, um, there was some of the um, foam pieces that make it stick up. If it were on flat paper, it would be great, but on this, um, it was just coming off, so I took it off. And then I just re-glued the portion back onto the sticker. Now this one I did keep on. It does still have, as you can see, it still has the the foam piece there. So it does stick up a little bit, which gives it a little bit of a 3D effect. And then on there it says, be still. So, and then I've got the little ribbon, whatever you call those. I got those at Hobby Lobby. They were on clearance last year sometime. So, okay, so here's the... In, the uh, beginning. This is the cover. This was a card, birthday card, or no, a Mother's Day card, I think, that I got last year. And it went along with the color scheme that I wanted, so I went with that one. And then this, the rest of this is scraps. I just wanted to use up uh, some scraps. I wanted to use a lot of the, the um, security envelopes, because I thought that was kind of neat. I know it doesn't really match. Hopefully I'll make it match throughout. But this is the first one and I'll do more to it. This is just the beginning, just trying to get it going. And then I made a little tab there. This here is receipts that um, you, you can paint on and then you take your uh, heat gun and you go over it and it turns the receipt black. So that was really fun to do. Um, so I just picked pasted that on that page and then here's another page that you can journal on and I just pasted some uh, paper decorative paper on there with some washi tape this was a fail <laughs> I I actually stamped it on the other side it's, if you've seen it in the video and then I decided because it wasn't it was drying at all because this is the uh, tissue paper or the tracing paper and it wasn't drying and it just kept getting onto this one which as you can see there's some green there so I just covered that up there I'll probably add some stickers or something on that later um, and then on the other side I just went ahead and tried to redraw it but as you can see it didn't turn out so good and then this was a, a stamp that I tried to do and it didn't work out quite right but um, I did some lining or drawing on it to try to bring it out better and then another spot that I'm going to put more stuff on and then I made a little pocket here that you could journal on now remember this was just a yellow a jello box and I've made it into a little teeny tiny um, junk journal okay and that there is another envelope, a security envelope. And then this one, I used a napkin and um, the Mod Podge. And then I put some sequins on the top of it. And then I also used uh, some decorative paper on the back so you could journal on that one. And, um, and then on this, let's see, it says breathe. Uh -oh. This one says let go. <laughs> well, that's purple. 
trying to keep with the purple, yellow. I'm trying to go with purple, yellow, and green mainly with a little bit of other colors in between. But the main colors I wanted to be purple, green, and yellow. So I'm just going to leave that like that. I think I like it, but I don't know. Maybe later on, maybe I'll change it. And then this, I was just putting on some scrap paper and trying to keep showing the beautiful I love the security envelope <laughs> I know that sounds funny but they do have some great designs if you ever pay attention and then that's just a sticker from Hobby Lobby and then um, some more journaling space and then I made a pop out I don't think I did that one, no. I just glued that stuff down. And that's it. So I've got three signatures in there. One, two, and three. I stapled them in. Um, this first one, I don't know if I put it on film, but it was falling off. Uh, for some reason, I didn't get it. Um, stapled down real good so I ended up having to re-staple it again which made me have to put these flowers down on it which actually I'm glad that happened because I really like the flowers there um, so, so here's a lot more pages that I'm gonna work on later when I get some time um, and then there's the rest some of that card again I just love that and then the back so guys you know anything is possible use your imagination use the use what you have and just go with it if you don't have tape and stuff like that draw use your markers your crayons your um, colored pencils colored um, pens and make your own art make this an art thing but get creative so there's my long time coming <laughs> um, craft, and I hope that I can get more in since I'm in, um, since I'm going on with uh, my semester. So, uh, but hopefully it won't be as hectic, and maybe we'll, I'll see you guys a little bit more. But we will see. So I hope you like that. Let me know if you guys make one and what you're going to do with yours. Alrighty, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and push that notification bell for when I actually do put out another video. Um, and I'm really sorry I can't put more videos out right now, but um, if you go to my new um channel my journey tidbits you'll get some updates there because I'm hoping again I'm hoping I will be able to at least put maybe little tiny uh, two minute videos up so you guys know what's going on with me um, and if I have time I'm gonna definitely do some crafts for you but uh, nursing school is gonna have to come first so but when I'm done with nursing school I will definitely have more crafting videos because I love to craft. I just love this. I love turning junk into treasure. So, alright you guys. I will see you later. Bye.